All right, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today we are with Desiree and we have her two door JK here. We're gonna show you how we set up this platform to be able to sleep comfortably in a two door. Uh, we looked up videos over and over again and never found anything on anyone making any type of sleep platform for a two door JK, but we managed to do the impossible and we did it. So let's go along and look at exactly how we did. Okay, so essentially this is a three-part sleeping deck. It takes roughly about a minute and a half to put up and take down. So it's elevated with these guys and then over there for more support. And I made it to where all this can have extra storage, but you won't lose anything back here as if you're just hauling regular cargo minus your back seat, but in this case, uh, there was no need for a back seat, so I was taken out a long time ago. So this idea was kind of worked around that and having it kind of stationary and permanent. But uh, obviously if you have to have a back seat, then it might not work for you. But other than that, we're gonna kind of break everything down on how it all functions and how it all went together. So essentially up here, this top piece is a slide that goes all the way to the seats when the seats are fully uh, collapsed forward. And this will slide in and then these panels come off. You wanna take that one off? So basically this is the seat as far back as it can go. And if you guys can see, there's still room. Uh, obviously just like a hand length, but you can still store stuff on the bottom behind the seats. But uh, what I'm showing you guys that for is you're not jeopardizing any uh, space for yourself with uh, comfort, especially on long drives or anything like that. You'll still get your same amount of room with everything folded. So with that being said, let's pull this forward. And then I'm actually going to get a nice aluminum plate to finish this off with a handle. But for now, for the sake of you guys, I'll show you that this slides all the way out. Does that see it all the way up? And then how this works is we have this little step right here where this folds into and it lands right on that piece of wood to help strengthen it. And then this second panel comes in and just sits right on top. And then this seat and then this seat could be pushed back to really hold everything secure into place. Uh, and one step I didn't show you yet is underneath I have these supports and they will slide into this hole right here using that little guy and these are this whole thing is construction constructed out of two by threes and for extra support that will just slide into there but obviously um, there's not gonna be any weight on it right now because I'm just showing you guys how it all kind of goes in but yeah so three pieces that one always goes in first, this one goes in second, and then everything slides in and it's pretty simple. It took maybe three days in total just after work here and there to complete the whole build, but it wasn't too hard. The hardest part was just trying to figure out how to design everything. Um, but once that gets figured out, then it was all really downhill from there. And then I know you guys have seen before my Tacoma build that I've done and I sleep vertical. Uh, this is also the case for this. I'm 5'7 and I can fit vertically in here, perfectly comfortable. Um, and another plus I didn't have to do because I'm not a tall guy, but if you are, you get all this extra space in between the seats where you can make another platform or slide out or whatever to fill this and you would have plenty of space just sleeping perfectly straight but that wasn't the case for me and especially for Desiree she's short so she can even lay straight this way right now and still have plenty of room but we kind of built it around what her needs were so that's why it all worked out but like I said if you're still a tall person it's not gonna jeopardize any type of room all you'd have to do is make that extra extension and you're good so this is it with everything kind of folded up and how you would have it set up while driving. 
and then obviously she's short so the seat's really far up but even the passenger seat fully laid back still enough room like i said and another advantage of having this especially this time of year when it's actually getting nice in arizona i designed this to where it sit nice and flush with everything and follow the contour of the rear gate so when it's closed there's no way anyone can access anything underneath this so it also works as like a security panel uh, for when the top itself is off because once the door is locked this back gate also locks with it so anything that you want to keep safe will be right under here and to access it you'd obviously have to open this up one more thing that i'm trying to figure out with this design um, and maybe you guys can help me out is because it is going to be such a uh, or also used as like a security thing is right here i was either going to panel it to where there's nothing there uh well i'm going to do that anyway and carpet that as well but my uh idea is is do i add a moly panel here like an aluminum one or do i just add a net where you can still store little things i don't know so you guys have to comment there and let me know what you guys think or what you guys would do maybe you have a new idea but that's my whole design into this is to make it be a uh, security box but also a sleeping platform and i know there's a lot of forums and pages like that when it came to two-door camping is everyone said you couldn't do it the only options you had was buy a rooftop tent or buy a camper but with everything going on these days with prices going up the cheapest most cost effective way to camp was to just figure it out and that's what we did and this is all uh i think i said it before but it's all constructed by two by threes it's plenty strong the plywood itself is a uh, half inch for this and the two panels that go up front um it's all held together just with screws and i use these elbows a lot for everything i have them up front as well for that whole frame um and the way the slide actually works is if you can see in here this is all frame but this itself is the slide and then there's supports here for the slide that go all the way down it's kind of hard to see but that's how that mechanism really works it's super simple and this carpet i think was only 25 bucks too it's like a outdoor rug something like that it's six foot by nine foot so there's still plenty left over after carpeting everything really nice but uh yeah i think uh all in all it came out to what was it 130 bucks maybe yeah roughly. so it was cheap definitely way cheaper than buying a camper or a rooftop tent all right so i think that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video i just want to show you guys the two-door jk sleeping setup that i have going on in here um and if you guys have slept in a jk and built something similar uh, let me know below how you did it because I haven't seen many ideas out there and I'm still trying to look to perfect this. As is right now, it's worked great. We already used it, or she already used it. I used my truck, obviously. But uh, it's done really good. It's done exactly what we need it to. But uh, like I said, just let me know what you guys have done before. And also, um, if you guys want to see more Jeep content, I'm probably going to do a lot more work on this Jeep. Uh, I know bumpers are something that she's been wanting maybe some slides roof racks i don't know so if you guys want to see more jeep content too along with the tacoma stuff just let me know so i know what to make videos on because if there's jeep people out there that want to see some stuff i'll definitely do it but uh i think that's going to be it for today's video so if you're not already make sure you subscribe and like the video and comment on it as well because all that really helps the channel and as always we'll see you on the next adventure